you want to square off with me? I could get real thuggish, ruggish if I need to. Hey, Power Director Peeps, it's Tablet Tuesday. So today I'm going to show you how to make square videos for social media using the Power Director Android Video Editor app. If you've been looking for tools to help you make square videos for Facebook, Instagram, and other social media platforms, I want you to put hashtag square videos in the comment section below. Here we are in the Power Director Video Editor app. Square videos or one-to-one -one videos are the aspect ratio of choice for many social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. If you want your videos to be seen on these platforms, you're going to need to know how to make square videos. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make square videos for social media using the PowerDirector Android Video Editor app. Let's square things up. As you can see, we're on the main screen for PowerDirector, and the first thing that we need to do is tap on New Project. And once we get here, we want to name our project. And then you want to select the video aspect ratio. If you want widescreen, go with 16 by 9. If you want a vertical uh, perspective, then you want to go with 9 by 16. But in this video, we want a square. So we're going to go with 1 to 1. So we'll tap on that. And now it takes you directly to the screen where you can import your media to start off your project. We want to make sure that we're on the video tab. And then we want to tap on the location that has our assets that we want to use. We want to select that asset. And then we want to tap on the little plus sign in the middle so that it adds it to the timeline. Now that we're done with that, we'll tap back. And we'll tap back one more time. And we are back in the main editing screen. Now, you can see that there are black bars at the top and the bottom of this video clip that we selected. This is happening because the video is a 16 by 9 horizontal video. And PowerDirector is trying to fit the entire video into a 1 by 1 square canvas. So this leaves space at the top and the bottom, which is represented by the black bars that you see. And we want to remove those black bars. But... Before we do that, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Tablet Tuesday. If you decide to subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And don't forget to follow PDU Tutorials on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for even more Power Director love. Now, let's get back to the breathtaking tutorial. You can remove the black bars by resizing the video, but based on how you decide to reposition a clip, some of the image won't be visible. So you want to go ahead and tap on the clip here in the timeline. Then you want to tap on the edit icon. And then you want to tap on crop. Now what you want to do is pinch out on this to resize it, make it larger. Now, you can see that I kind of pinched it, resized it, the black bars are gone. But if I wanted to see an object or a person or something on the left, then I need to go ahead and move it over to the left to make sure that they're included. Same thing on the right. If I wanted to see something that's on the right-hand side of the screen, I need to move it over that way. So just keep that in mind. You can go ahead and reposition and resize it, but because it's a square, some of the original part of the video image may not be visible when you're done. Now, when you're looking at this preview screen, you can actually switch between this large preview and seeing the timeline below by tapping on the little arrow down here. So that's a cool feature that you can use to change the perspective, make you be able to see a little bit closer in to make sure you're getting rid of all of those black bars, things like that. So once you're done, you want to tap on back and you want to tap on back again. And you can tap on the little arrow to bring back up the timeline and you're back in the main editing screen. All you got to do now is just keep importing clips, uh, cropping them to fill the screen, and you're pretty much good to go. I do want to show you one extra cool thing that PowerDirector added for the aspect ratio. When you open a project, PowerDirector includes an identifier right above the project thumbnail that shows you which project aspect ratio each project is. So if I tap back, I see I have three projects here. One is called square, the one that I just created, then one called vertical and one called horizontal. If we tap on the one called horizontal, then we can see right above the thumbnail that it has a 16 by nine aspect ratio. I can tap back and let's say I tapped vertical. Then right above that thumbnail, you see that this project is a nine by 16 aspect ratio. I'll tap back. 
and then the one that we just created called square obviously that one's going to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio so i'm going to tap back now i like this because i'm able to distinguish between the different aspect ratios for each project before i open it up and start doing my business and start editing and all of that helps me save a little bit of time hopefully it'll save some time for you too and that's how you make square videos for social media using the power director android video editor app if you decide that you like what the power director android video editor app can do and you want to try it out i'll leave a link in the video description don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below thanks for watching we'll see you again soon